what's up YouTube tour on here uh, I've been working on the the mob spawner here but I wanted to go ahead and kind of finish it up with you guys um, I left the boring digging out stuff parts off camera but what I did is I here's kind of the canal that the uh, skeletons are going to be funneled down and I wanted to just watch them you know travel to their death and then this is where they're going to land after they get elevated up and then dropped um, as you can see I've done a little work inside so I'm going to go show you guys that um, what I did in here is I created this little this is the section where they drop off and they get funneled into this single entryway and then you put the water bucket here and the water bucket here and then it basically pushes all the water down into here and then I have a drop here because I needed to be 23 blocks that they go up and then drop and so I had to drop it twice to get to that 23 blocks but once I get here now the fun part is I got to add water to all these different drops here and as you can see I went all the way up to the top and then I did the boards every other plank down to make sure that we had it, the water going to be in the right spot and so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to actually put the water in here um, so this will take a couple minutes to do uh, but once we get this done then we get to finish the ups the upper part which is going to be kind of um, the little the little section that pushes them to their death over there so right now we get to put water buckets here and hopefully I don't noob fail and place a bucket in the wrong spot so far so good Uh, almost can get out but I need more water anyways to finish up top so we're gonna go ahead and go back down and then we're gonna exit the same way we came in just a minute ago um, but I've used this trap before in previous worlds and it works really well um, and then it, I can normally punch them to death with one or two punches I probably don't even need all of this but just in case we're going to bring it. It is daytime. So, let's go ahead and take care of this for a second here. And then we're going to go ahead and go outside here now. All right, so outside we go. Hopefully the, that'll keep the skeleton spawning. I think I had one spawn earlier, so we'll see. But now we get to go up top, and I'll show you guys what I did up there. Actually, let me turn this sound down real quick. Or the music, I should say. All right. So anyways, you guys, um, I've had a lot of fun with this mob trap. It's actually in a great spot really easy to work with. I don't have to dig through a ton of stuff. I don't have a lot of caves to deal with around it. It's been really, really nice and easy to deal with. As you can see, I started the, uh, the little section up here. Um, so they come up here, up, 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 and then over here, they fall to their death. And what we need to do is finish this section. And I'm actually going to change this from a plank the glass so that way we can stand underneath and watch them travel along if we need to. So first we need to build the outside of this. And I'm going with wood because well there's a lot of cobblestone stuff in the world and I'd rather have wood than cobblestone. And I just I need something to do with my my jungle tree set wood, and that's what I'm doing here. Is I'm doing something with the jungle tree wood. So, but I hope you guys like this. Um, God, I need a. I can't. It's really hard to commentate while you're trying to think and focus. I think that's why a lot of people choose to build off camera and then they show it to you later because it's just sometimes easier when you're not trying to think of something to say and build at the same time. You know, but what do you do? I 
I mean, yeah, it, it works out. And then... One more... I need to add... Let's see... It's gonna have to come up one more. Because... When it comes up to this last one, this last buck of water is actually going to be the one that pushes them that away. And this should be exactly eight blocks, so when they get to the edge, it'll stop, and then they're going to fall off. And I noticed in my first couple of videos, my audio was a little, a little kind of uh, loud. And so hopefully I've kind of normalized the audio so it's, it's not killing you guys. And I apologize for that. It was kind of a... A, a new mistake on my part. I wasn't paying attention when I was feeling that my audio was really sensitive for whatever reason. And see then, poof, right there is where we put that one. So let's go ahead and top this off. Actually, I think, yep, I missed this one. And then we get to build the outside. And then the last thing we'll do is come over here and fill that in after we've gotten the outer section built. I was getting new block placement fails everywhere. Go haul. See, I did it again. There's the second block placement fail of the day. Let's see if we can keep it under three. Hopefully we don't have any more. So far, how do you guys like the series? I mean, do you guys want to see anything else? Um, are you interested in different types of let's plays? You know, what's, what do you guys want to see? And actually, I think I'll do this. Um, so every, there we go. And what we'll do is I did bring it, yes. We'll rotate the glass so every other section is a window and then we can see from multiple locations if they're traveling through safely or not ah oh, lame oh that's three let's see if we can keep it at three and not have any more block fail block placements but watch we will and I'll have to go sleep soon that sucks Okay, so, yeah, there we go. And then I actually have to do a second layer underneath because I hate the dripping block effect. I, I know why they do it, but it still looks hideous when you're, when you're trying to make something look nice. You walk under it and then all of a sudden you got water dripping on you? I don't think so. Alright. Looking pretty good. At least I think so. So this, this mob trap will be really nice because it'll let us... We'll basically stand in front of it and it'll spawn. Oh, did I really just do that? Seriously? Um. Yep, that's the one. Okay. Boom! That tickled. Alright, let's collect these wood blocks and we're gonna go sleep. To the bed! Hi, kitty. So I'm hoping to get this thing uploaded here soon. I just wanted to go through and finish this mob trap with you guys. Um, my next goal is to actually expand. I want to actually search out a place to build a castle to. Um, we do have the jungle treehouse that I've built. Um, but I actually want to find a nice space somewhere where I can build a uh, 
I hear a skeleton. I should put windows on this side. Actually, I'm going to do some... Oh, there's a skelly in there. He spawns. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to go to the nether next, actually. And I'm going to put right in this top area on each side. I'm going to put... Um, uh, glowstone lamps. That way I can flip a switch to disable the trap or I can flip a switch to enable it, of course. And that way it's a little easier to control the spawn because those uh, glowstones bright enough that if you have one on each wall nothing spawns in that room. So that is what I want to do with this as soon as we can. So I think my next goal is going to be to go to the nether so we can actually do that. And luckily this one doesn't need any of those uh, fancy ladder or signs and water. It just needs to plummet them to their death. Which it should do quite nicely. And then, I want to actually be able to get up top if I need to. And so we're going to go ahead and drop some ladders here. That way if we need to get up here, we can. And then we're going to finish this off. And then I will put one more glass block down. And that gives us the ability to see what's happening. And then we'll drop one more ladder there. I should probably come up here and put down some half slabs. Probably. Um, to keep things from spawning up here, but I guess it's not really necessary. Ah, it's uneven. No wonder. So fine. Jerks. I'll just do it that way. Because they want to be jerks about it and be uneven. Actually, it's my own fault because I wasn't paying attention when I did it. Still. I need to mark that somehow so I don't just run and jump off. Oh, I need to put that last water down too. So, back up we go. See, that's the reason why. I need to put a guide so I don't fall again to my death. And... Like that. And we'll... Oh, I can't check it. I'm pretty sure it goes all the way though. We'll check it this way. Oh, it's going too far. I messed up somewhere. That's That's not good. In we go. Alright, let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I know why. I'm friggin' moron, people. This needs to be down one more. Here. That way this water block pushes them that way. That was a waste of glass. Oh well, we live and we learn, right? At least it's only a few. And I fail place block, fail block placement. All right, I'm gonna like stop playing 
if I can't seem to place blocks properly, I should just give up now. And still the drop off. Oh, we'll just do checkerboard glass. Why not? Since having glass in here doesn't seem to affect them. Oh, that's good. Take out my ladder. Well, I may as well just do it this way then. Okay. So this time... It stops. Perfect. And then we'll come up here. Oh. Hey, yeah, that works. Fail block placement for the win. And then we'll come up here and close this off. And then, so that part's finished. Now we just need to come over here. My poor legs, I'm, if, if anybody in real life jumped like we jumped, they'd be dead. I'm serious. I bet you I have a zombie somewhere. Ooh, I wonder if he's up in my little thing I did up top. I bet you he's up here. Yep, there he is. Where's my bow? I, I carved out the upper spot there. So that way we could um, run the redstone wire for those lamps that I want to do. Oh, come on, dude. Why don't you just jump down to your death? Hey, yay experience points. Alright. So, now we gotta add the water in here. And we're good. But let's make sure we have enough buckets. It's gonna take four buckets to finish up this room. Because you have the two corners, and then you have two spots going down this way we have to put buckets in. So we need to kill the skellies first, and then go in here, die already, what, I don't think so. I guess they're spawning over here in these dark corners, which is a problem. But once I add the water, that'll all go away. So by adding the bucket here, actually I may only need the one down here. Yeah, see. It brings them here, then they jump. Oh, come on. I could just jump to my... Yeah, we'll just fall to our death. Our almost death. It won't kill them, it won't kill me. And when they come up this way, and then the water will push them this way, and then they will fall painfully to the death. Like so. Ta-da! It works pretty well. And I'll show you guys here in a minute. But we need to put this block back. And now we need to add two more buckets in there and get rid of the torches. But we should let our health come back first. 
otherwise it's going to so those will get washed in there um, so as long as we have at least one on there it should keep those done and then Goodbye, torch. Cobble, 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 cobble. Spawn skeletons and you little jerk. Come say that to my face. Yeah, he did say it to my face. Poof, and there you go. Now, as you can see, the water will push them all over that way. And I should add some windows here. I really should. They will get funneled down this way. I lost some experience points and some bones. And they will fall here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to AFK here for a few minutes and see how many we get and I will be right back with you guys as soon as that happens. Alright I'm back. I've been sitting AFK for maybe 5-10 minutes while I went and did something else real quick for uh, Mrs. Torhan and uh, as you can see their steady stream of skeletons they poof and then over here and now we're going to kill the ones that are here and see how much experience and bones and stuff we get so if you notice all I'm doing is punching them and they're dropping dead so let's see what we end up with maybe we'll get, oh look we got a bow drop right there that is just awesome so we got one bow in there and let's see so we got 29 bones we got over a half a stack of arrows because I had about 20 I had about 30 left so we have at least a half a stack of arrows and all I did was punch them to death so that's not bad at all I could probably take it up one more block high or two blocks higher and then drop them from there um, which I may do off camera, I may elevate it by two blocks and then draw and then uh, drop them so that I can hit them once or twice and kill them instead of the three times uh, it just depends on how I feel like doing all that work but yeah you guys can see that it works out pretty well um, I added some chests to the side here so we can keep the spoils of war um, that way we can keep things separated. We can kind of gauge, you know, how well, what, how much we're getting from this and everything else. But it works really well. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to elevate that off camera because that's. I like it better when it's about two hits. And I think instead of going down when I notice the air, I should have gone up one more level, and that would have fixed it too. Go figure, right? And then I also came out here, and because I don't have a farm yet for it, I planted some sugarcane. That way we can start harvesting sugarcane for books. Because I want to make a, I want to make an enchanting room. So that way, as soon as I get a diamond, we can start enchanting. And I'm probably going to put the enchanting room up there in that treehouse. It'll be one of the things up there. At least that's what I'm thinking. Um, or I may... Yeah, I'm going to put that over there. So the enchanting room is going to be up in the treehouse. And then I'm still... i got to go... I need to go harvest a bunch of those train tracks from the abandoned mine shaft. And then I want to build a train station from that platform down to the village. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but I'm also going to need powered rails and stuff for that as well. 
Um, so I need to go back to the mine and mine some more. And I got a lot of stuff to do to get things ready. Um, but do you guys want to see a video of me mining? Do you guys want to see a video of, you know, what do you want to see a video of? Anything specific or do you like me just doing these small update videos? Um, actually, I don't think I've even shown you guys the mine yet. Uh, let me go show you the mine that I actually worked on here real quick. Um, you think you guys will like it? I just need to get over there. Actually, Kitty, you can come with me. Oops, gotta sleep. Keep the monsters at bay. Or let them burn in the daytime, whatever you want to call it. Alright, let's go. So, there's the treehouse, all finished. Um, I think I showed you guys that I think I put that video up where I showed you everything's finished. But I may be mistaken and you may get that video next before this one. Or I'll just skip that video and show you this one. It just depends. Yeah, I didn't put that video up because I was having some problems with my internet last night. So, we're just going to give you a grand tour real quick and then I'll just skip that video because all it was is basically a tour of what I'm showing you now. Here's the new villager home. It's a three on each side for villagers to come live in. Though apparently they're not using it right now. You guys need to go to the house. Maybe I need to move it closer. I don't know. They should use it though, you would think. Unless I need to fix the road or something. Wait, do we have a baby villager? No. And then here's the mine shaft. So I built the mine shaft. I built a nice little house for it. Uh, upper level has a little bit of storage. And then there's the bottom level, which you'll see here in a second. So I have my infinite spring, of course, right there. I have these are the the corners to drop down to the to the mine shaft, and then these chests and furnaces are just for smelting and storing things we get from down there that I don't want to carry back down or whatever. And then if we go down, um, you can see I did a lot of work on this thing. It took me forever between the jungle, the jungle house, and the mine shaft. It took a while, but I actually I saw this design on Ethos Lab, and I really liked it, um, and decided I would go with it. So thanks a lot, Etho. Your design is awesome. I really appreciate all the videos that you put out, and so I copied his idea. Except for he uses Ender Pearls to get back up, when I have a really long ladder because I haven't been to the end yet. Uh, eventually that'll come, but for now I haven't been there. Uh, but yeah, it's basically I've mined out a lot. It's where you, I got a ton of my iron, and I've gotten a bunch of redstone and some gold. Uh, the only thing I still haven't got are diamonds, but those will come. I just need to go mine some more. I just haven't. I've been working on these other things and haven't finished mining. But as you can see, it's a long trek back up because I went down to 10.6 for the mine, and it's worked out pretty well so far. I've gotten quite a bit of coal, iron, and stuff, and so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to skip ahead. I'm actually going to run over to the to the jungle home and give you guys a quick tour, but I don't want to have you watch me run because it's just going to add more time to an already long video. So I will go ahead and run over there and I will be right back. So here we are, you guys. We're at the uh, jungle tree. Uh, the jungle tree home. And I accidentally hit uh, one of those off. But this is the way you get up to the first floor. Uh, first floor is just basically kind of like a little area to look around, check stuff out. I got two more cats, by the way. When I was building this thing, I was looking down and I saw two ocelots running around. So I tamed them both. I got three kitties now. Um, and then you take this little staircase. I kept the, the base of the trees. And up here is a little more storage room. And you can see that we're storing stuff here. Kitty, stay. And we got just more storage units our chests for storage. Up here is a main floor which is probably where I'm going to put like a library or the enchanting area. I might put it on this floor. I haven't decided it but you can see I kept the trunks going all the way up. Um, I'll show you this in a minute. And then up here we have my bedroom 
with the single bed. I actually got to make it a double here soon. Um, make that a double. Add some little furnishings and stuff. I have a couple ideas for some designs, uh, but I haven't had a chance to do any interior work yet other than make this room. So that's kind of the bedroom for now. And then up top, I actually got kind of creative and made a patio with these little umbrella things made out of uh, sandstone. And if you look up top, it has a little pyramid type thing, so it looks kind of like a uh, an umbrella wood over a thing. This is kind of, you know, your grill, your storage units, some water. It's kind of basically like a, a barbecue patio type deal. Ooh, oh yeah, I did do that on purpose. I was like, hang on. But yeah, I did the corners a different color for randomness. And then another little just area that looks kind of nice to chill at. But yeah, it's just kind of a, a little patio deck thing to to overlook the world. You can see my, my mob trap over there. Um, maybe I should encase that into another building or something. Who knows? I'll figure out something. Uh, but then, you, actually, I can make a giant creeper face on a building out of it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll make a giant creeper face with lava and stuff, and that'll be awesome. I'll do that at some point and show you guys, and you guys can tell me if you like it or if it, should just, if it was a waste of time. Anyways, let's go show you the little balcony thing over here. This is our leap of faith. Uh, to get off of this place. Basically all we do is we come over here and we run to our deaths. No, just joking, we dive into the water. And that lets us get back over here to the spawner. But I do want to actually put off the middle of that I want to do the train track going down to the village. And I think that would be really cool. So, but anyways you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. It's going to be a little bit longer than my normal videos. Um, probably closer to like the 30 minute mark, which I apologize for. Um, unless you guys like the longer videos, let me know. If you guys like the 30 minute videos, I'll keep it up. If not, I'll try to stick to like the 15 minute format or so and keep you guys with that content. But anyways, I really appreciate all you guys viewing my videos and uh, anybody that, that enjoys these, please let me know what you like best, what you want to see more of. Uh, rate, rate the video, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Anyways, you guys, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Peace.